I'm making a reverse mold um, because the other corner of this uh, mirror is broken. Um, about this much of it was broken off. So I'm going to be repairing it and showing you how to do a reverse mold. I'm going to spray the surface with some WD-40 and this helps to make sure it doesn't stick. Okay, you know what we do? Yep, that's what we're going to do. And then I'm going to cover this oh, yeah. with we hot glue. I use the Gorilla Glue because it is um, very tough and I need the mold to be kind of thin and not too thick. So the Gorilla Mold, the, I mean the Gorilla Glue helps with that. So I'm just going to let it run over as the glue melts. And I like them there, mommy. Okay. Mommy. Just let it kind of drip over. I don't want it on too thick. Oh, nice. That's nice, mommy. It's really nice. Thanks, you honey. Uh -huh. Yep. Yeah. So I want it on fairly thin. I don't want it on too thick. Because I'm going to be inverting the mold so I don't want it to be thick at all so that way the details still show through and you'll see why. Just moving this over a bit and brushing this a little bit off so that I can get a nice mold okay so that covers about the area and more of what I'm going to be doing the repair mold over here I'm going to let that dry as it dries it does become a little bit cloudy so that way you know um, it's cooled off okay so I've made my reverse mold um, this is the mold that I created. Get over there. So this is the mold that I took off of the corner that I made. Basically, I'm going to invert it like this so that it becomes a corner mold for this. And you can see it fits perfectly with the details. I'm going to be using Bondo. I like to use Bondo because it is extremely durable, but at the same time, probably didn't need that much Bondo, um, but at the same time, it can be sanded. So it helps me to get a, uh, a more accurate uh, replication of what I'm doing, which is usually uh, fixing broken trim appliques and things like that. Bondo comes in two parts. It has the... Uh, putty like part and then it has the hardener you can see right here and it's red so that you can tell you only need like one drop but I'm trying to I'm at the end of my bondo you only need really a drop for the tiny amount that I'm going to be using it's red so that when you mix it you can tell it is going to be that color uh, a light reddish color so that it's fully incorporated. I'm going to spray some WD-40 on my uh, mold so that it comes off easily on the inside of the mold. All right, let me get to mixing this. I kind of have to work fast with this because um, it hardens fairly quickly once you get all of it 
mixed up together so you can see it's turning a slight reddish color to show you that it is being mixed thoroughly all together. It is a bit fumey so please do this in a ventilated area. It's typically used for automobile repairs so that's just how uh, durable it is. Okay, so I'm going to need to quickly put it in the corner. I'm going to slide this paper under my area. Hopefully, we go under. Sorry, trying to get it to go under so that I don't. Okay, since I'm doing the corner, I'm going to be putting it pretty much on the corner right here and here. All right, there you go. I don't want to damage the top of my desk. Okay, so it's, I just usually spread it at the area that I need it. And now I'm going to use the mold and press it down on top of it, like so. Uh, the this part is, was the top, so basically pressing it down to how it was shaped, like this. You can s see the excess is squeezing out. Okay, so I'm going to need to uh, tape it down so that it dries correctly. Might be a little bit sticky. So I'm just trying to sorry, I'm uh trying to it so it doesn't get onto my desk area. All right, it's already hardening. Okay, so I'm just gonna press it down. It's already hardening. Okay. Perfect, hopefully. And the mold tore a little bit because I needed to make it thin so that it wouldn't um, so that it would invert and not. Okay, great. So it's at the bottom here. All right. It's hardening as we speak. It only takes about 10 minutes for it to harden. Um, it will still be a bit soft, but that's when it's the perfect time to do some sanding and trimming of the mold or the um, that area to get it perfectly so that it looks exactly like it was um, before it was damaged. Okay, so here is the finished product. Or not, I shouldn't say finished product, but finished um, result. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good um, for me anyways to replace the missing corner. and to get it the right size. So not bad. Um, so that's how you do a reverse mold. The uh, Use a really strong hot glue stick so that it doesn't tear. And uh, yes, I 
know I should have taped it under um, while I was doing it, but I was working 18 hours straight and my mind was just like not there and I couldn't find my tape, so sorry for that <laughs> blooper part. But that's, I hope you at least get an idea of the basics on uh, what I was doing anyways. So this is the, after the Bondo had set and then I uh, took it out, the mold, cleaned it up. I used a uh, sanding paper to sand it and to try to get it to the exact shape that I needed it to be. Not totally perfect, but uh, it works pretty well. It looks a lot better than it did anyways. 